Uche Usani, a former governorship aspirant for Kaduna, has revealed some of the challenges some presidential aspirants are facing as we are getting closer to the general election. He said, the edicts of the presidential candidates, that of Waziri, some rebellious governors, that of Jagaban, the religion of the running mate, that of Peter B and SMK, who we deputize the order. The emergence of Governor Kowa over Governor Wiki as the running mate for Atiku has been increasing or creating issues within the party as Governor Otom revealed to the public that Atiku should make peace with Wiki. There is urgent need for Atiku to get his party united to avoid division and might negatively affect his presidential ambition. Tinubu is also facing the issue of the right vice president who will be his running mate to choose as many Nigerians are cautioning him he should avoid a Muslim Muslim ticket in the general election. All of them are having edicts. I think their own edict is even, even more because already they have baggages and they are still creating some trouble and confusion among themselves. But that of uh, Peter Obi, he should just forget about uh, anybody who is trying to delay him or to drag him down or drag him back and, and choose somebody else because this whole thing is all about him that's it it's all about him not a the vice president he does not have a, a baggages even if he has baggages the baggages are just like a somebody described like a child it's something that a child can be able to lift with even his or her finger all men with their own wahala god at work let us let all of us remain obedient for better tomorrow. No more bullion van and delegates buying politics for the sake of our children's future. Let us leave tribal and religious sentiments. Votes will be mm, Otsukiya, an evil boy by extraction and campaigning for POB, uh, PO, who is also an evil and a Christian. And at the same time, we are saying we should be um, uh, de emphasized tribal and religious policy. So, you that say uh, you are the Atiku and Tinumbu, are they not Nigerians? Are they not from one ethnic group? I don't understand why you guys are always talking as if uh, this thing. So PDP now, they, they are bringing somebody from outside Nigeria or APC. Their candidate is not a Nigerian person. I don't really understand. If the Igbos don't support the man now, you say, oh, then they support them. So who is what are, who are you talking, talking about? Because people are not are not a uh, issue based that is the reason why you guys are fe feeling or thinking that uh, those who are from a uh, ego extraction in as much as they support a uh, peace will be definitely they are pushing a uh, ego agenda can you imagine mm. Mm. and uh, you see all of them this one i was at this one at yoruba these people uh, they are something else they are something else they are something else is even Supporting what this uh, Ahusa boy is talking about that uh, because he's a Igbo man, so he's campaigning for Obi. And this one says he's fooling himself. How is he fooling himself? He's fooling himself. Well, what about you that is a Muslim and and you are with Atiku or Tinubu that are all Muslim? You see yourself. I don't know what are those people are bringing people from a from a outside the outside the country. It seems you have not learned any lessons yet. I believe that uh, you are comfortable with the two big political parties that created, nurtured, and reward terrorists and bandits slaughtering innocent Nigerians with impunity. Bro, start thinking outside the box. The bitter truth is that for us to have a better Nigeria tomorrow, we must embrace other political parties that have the masses at heart. In conclusion, APC and PDP have completely ruined the economic and social fabric of nigeria period you talk the other time that a pdp oh and they brought all this a uh, deceitful mantra change 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 oh let us remove a uh, pdp oh they ruled this country for 16 years since uh, since uh, um how many whether the fourth republic they call it now apc came they come come and scatter everything so what are you talking about? The two people, the two parties have been tested and you guys say you still want to continue with them. And meanwhile, those who are coming under them say they want to continue with the the policies of all these people. And somebody who is a, 
uh, deep thinkers and you still want to continue with that can you define yourself with that's a this is irrespective of what you see think uh, anybody can support anybody uh me i will always say is you don't need to beg anybody i don't i don't, I don't even have that time to be begging and to be persuading and do whatever you want to do at the end of the day you will see you will see you will reap and all of you who are shouting we know how to play politics where are the politics and you the gullible ones that they are deceiving that some people know how to play politics their policies the policy they are playing is to the betterment and to the to the good of them and their allies their cronies and their immediate family not because of you and you all of all of you, you are helping them to carry yes we know how to play politics we know how to play politics oh god it's just unfortunate let them continue yeah it's a person obedience is better than sacrifice if it will rule is it a crime i thought uh, it's one nigeria your northern brothers have been ruling since and Igbos have been voting for them to date nothing has come out let us try other tribe the problem of ob is just one how can he pick a running bit from southwest why him is from south uh, east won't work it won't work in that uh, in that way if he did not change his running mate are you in this country no, are you in this country that says you're not changing say running mate? Are you sure you know what is happening? <laughs> yeah, I'm from north, uh, north. I personally like Obi, but the truth is always bitter. How can he pick a southwest? Why is from southeast? How about the north? Uh -uh. <laughs> can you imagine? He's not supporting Obi because he is either Christian or evil man, but he needs a change of government. This is not about tribal religion. It is about how to move Nigeria forward with a new bred politician and real liberal democrat that values life and rule of law. Mr. will be a real developer. That is all. Mm. Asikutu has done it again to Obasanjo and again to Jonathan. The governors doing it to him should not be a surprise. We must be obedient first in order to Articulate the second reason why Tinubu and his entourage must use the third main land bridge after the announcement of the results of the 2023 presidential election. The eagle eyes must have seen the results above. Atiku himself is rebellious and disobedient to, to the power that be, and his end will continue in misery. All notwithstanding, we remain obedient. For sure, obedient. This one is saying something else. Article dead the powers that be in the PDP. We kill the strong man. But Atinubu tends to say that the Christians are not important, which is a big mistake. And the northern elites can't afford a non Muslim as VP, which is why many of them didn't even want a southern Muslim as their flag bearer on Titinubu, threatening them. As for Ubi and Kokwansu, it is just the lost doing. The both need powerful VPs to balance uh, the whole thing. Let's see how it goes. Mm -hmm.